Hi everyone, this is Chase with LearnYourNewMac.com. In this video, we'll explain how to organize your files and folders on your Mac. We're going to start with Finder, and remember that's the smiley face icon at the lower left corner of the dock. We did talk about Finder in a previous video for an overview of the application, so if you need an overview, please check out that. If you're coming from a PC background, think of Finder just like you would think of My Computer. And remember that Finder is the file cabinet for your computer. It's the primary location where all of your files are stored. To start, I'm going to go right to the Documents folder. And I'm going to be on this third icon, which is the Column View. I have a list A to Z of all my files. And I have the blue folder, which is right now just the student loan. And this just represents files within that folder. And remember, because I'm in the column view, when I click on this folder, I see the files in the next column over. So student loan has the three files inside of it. When I need to make a new folder, there's a couple ways I can do that. I can go to the gear and say new folder, or I can go up to the file menu and I can say new folder. One thing to be careful of is to make sure that if I'm already selected on a folder, it's going to make a subfolder. So for me, I'm going to click back on the documents. I'll go up to File and say New Folder. I get a new untitled folder, and it's ready for me to type because I can see the highlighted lettering right there. I see that I have several things having to do with finances. So I'm going to type this as Finances. When I'm done typing, I simply hit Return on the keyboard, and my folder snaps right into position alphabetically. Now what I can do is I can take anything that has to do with finances. So I'm going to start with budget. Click hold and drag budget right on top of finances. When I drop it there, notice that finances is here and here's the file to the right and it has now left this left hand column. I also see target order so I could take the target order and drop that to finances. I see water bill and I could take water bill and drop it to finances as well. So now I've made a new folder with three files inside of it. If I repeated that, I might click on the documents again to make sure I kind of reset to that top level. I'll go to the gear this time and I'll say new folder. And I have a cover letter and a resume, so I'm going to call this professional. If I take resume, I'm going to click hold and drag that to professional. I'll take cover letter and I'll drag that to professional. Now I've successfully made two new folders and put those files inside that folder. For a moment, I'm going to back up. I'm going to go to this four square icon and let me reset to documents. In this view, I see finances, professional, and then at the bottom here I see student loan so I see those folders if I wanted to get inside those folders I have to double click and now I'm looking at those three files that were in that folder if I go to the list view and let me reset to documents then now I'm seeing these files as a list I again need to double click in order to see the files that are inside of that folder We've already discussed the column view, so I know that things show up to the right-hand column. And now cover flow. Cover flow will allow me to see finances, professional, student loan, those folders in the list. But I again need to double click if I want to get inside that folder. So now I'll reset back to the documents and to the column view. I'll go into something like finances and let's say if I wanted to make a subfolder inside of that with finances highlighted I can now go to the gear or to the file menu and say new folder now I can type in the name of the folder and I'm gonna call this receipts then I can take target order and drag it on top of receipts and then I can take water bill and drop it on top of receipts. Notice that when I'm in this column view I can scroll from left to right 
if I need to get back to a certain level. But this shows me that I was in the documents, went to finances, then inside of finances I have the receipts subfolder. Inside the receipts subfolder I have these two files. So now I've successfully completed that. Another good example might be if you had school. So let's say for example I go back to documents, new folder, I type school. I might need some subfolders in school. So I'll go by, how about the year next? So now I have school and a new folder inside of that. And I'll say this is 2012. And inside 2012, I'll put some subfolders for the classes I might be taking. I'll have English. I'm going to click on 2012 again and make another new folder so that I make another subfolder. And let's just say this one is for a Spanish class. And I'll do one more. Click again on 2012. Go to the gear. New folder. And this time I'll put math. So now, anytime I finish a document, I have a spot to put that. I can put it in school and inside of the folders, whichever subfolder I need it to be a part of. As a quick tip, sometimes you need to know what a file has in it. If you single click a file and do the space bar, you can get a quick preview of what that file is all about. Space bar again will close that. So if I click on a file, space bar, let me see a quick preview, click on a file, spacebar, well, let me see a preview. If I have a file, let's say, that's out on the desktop like I have over here, then I can take that file that's on the desktop and I can drag and drop it where I want it. I could drop it on the documents or I could drop it inside or on top of any subfolder. I'll just drop it loose here in the documents folder. Then for example here I have printer rebate and earlier I had the finances and then the receipts folder. So I'm going to grab printer, I'm going to actually hold it on top of the finances folder which sort of opens up that folder for me. Now I can see receipts. I can drag that and drop it right on top and now my file has moved off of the desktop and has been added to receipts. If I decided that I had enough receipts and I didn't want that to be inside of finances anymore, I could take receipts, drag and drop it back one level to the left, and that would take receipts out of finances and make it its own separate folder. If I ever want receipts to be a subfolder again, I can take receipts, drag and drop it to finances. And that will add that again as a subfolder. So here's finances, the subfolder receipts, and my files that are inside that folder.